<laughs> it's me, the Shumbler man. Let's do this. Do you think the royal family kids watch Coco Melon, or can they watch only court jesters or something? We're off to a good start. The most important canon facts Tails Tube has given us. Tails uses Tumblr. In his world, Tumblr has a two-tailed icon. The fact above might imply Tails has created Tumblr. Thank you, Tails. 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 <sighs> Thank you, Tails. Hey, Sundial, what are your pronouns? NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Intel Core i5 10400 FCPU 16 gigabyte RAM. Oh, wow. Cool. Thoughts on women and Dice City? I've gotten better at dodging their acid attacks. <laughs> Have you? I guess we'll see. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I was walking through the valley of the green glass doors and my butt was there and yours wasn't. Interesting. Writing prompt. Your supervillain nemesis is a little more than a goofy comic relief. Always coming up with clunky machines and insane nonsensical schemes. When a new dangerous villain appeared, your nemesis utterly destroyed them. And then continued on like nothing happened. I'm sorry, did you mean critically acclaimed DreamWorks movie f motherfucking Megamind? And you put up the blue dude! Look at that blue dude! Andy, I swear to God, if you put up the wrong blue dude, I... But some people respond to any well-foreshadowed reveal with, Ugh, that plot twist is so predictable. Proves bad faith criticism has rotted their brains to the point where they think it's bad writing if they can correctly identify information the writers were intentionally giving them. <sighs> One of the characters in our D&D party is an orc named Brick. We established that orcs got their names through test of strength, and that his name is Brick because it's the strongest thing he was able to break with his bare hands. By profession, Brick is a therapist. His ultimate ambition is to one day do therapy so good that he can change his name to depression. I went into expecting beautiful himbo and came out in love with Brick and crying over therapist orcs. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Mouse Girl Conspiracy Theorist handing you a folder of documents. And remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. They all have top squeak rat stamped on them. Very strong addition! Trans guy who finally figured out his name about to come out in the funniest way to his friends. Hey guys, can I be frank with you all? <laughs> That's good, I like that. It's spooky month, so I'm once again removing all protection around my house from spooky creatures. Gonna have one hell of a spooky party! <laughs> Don't let the creature in. Don't. Just don't. All right, you listen to me. Listen. Your actual job in life, and it sucks that your fifth grade teacher didn't explain this adequately enough, is to ask for help when you need it, and to accept charity when it would take weight from your shoulders. Otherwise, you end up like Sisyphus, or even worse, Walter White. You don't want to be Walter White. Hey, is Adosha compliant to Uwu on the job? Absolutely not! Imagine the danger you're putting yourself in! Is Obo okay? Yes! Keep your eyes open! I hate that this is the punchline. Thanks, Osha. In a horse accent. Nope! This is the horse equivalent of being lost in the sauce. What the fuck is a horse accent? Stands in the hallway of your blog saying nothing like a sibling. Going game playful? I'm non-binary, which means that the gender goblin came up to me in the middle of the night a few years ago and stole my gender. And I have been no beanie ever since. But I think... I think the gender goblin tried to return it, but they... They gave me the wrong one. Throws ibuprofen on the ground and watches the aging tumbler populace peck at them like chickens. Hey, don't be ridiculous. Our backs and knees absolutely cannot do that. Yeah, if you could just hold them out in the palm of your hand like you're feeding a horse, that'd be great. A character trope I like is a person who is a nice, good person and acts well-adjusted. Then they do something where it's like, Oh, you're uh, secretly a little bit insane, actually. Mmm, a small black coffee with a blueberry shot. Bugs Bunny injects estrogen and testosterone at the same time and strikes himself up and down like a cocktail. I love it. Hey, why do old people read the Bible so much? I asked the old guy standing in front of me at the post office, and he said, It's because we're cramming for finals. Ha! <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> Maybe becoming a werewolf wouldn't fix my mental illness, but it would fix my not being a werewolf problem. Do you ever think about that? It's not comfort media, it's things that plague me at night. Hey guys, I'm eating a gummy worm. Do not try to eat the other end while I'm distracted again. Start to eat the other end just to piss you off. Let go! Writing prompt. Hey you, where the only reason Bruce Wayne is financially stable enough to afford his bat gadgets is that he's been selling Batman merchandise. Somehow nobody has caught on to his secret identity. 
you know, when you think about it, this is just this is just real life. The reason the Batman stories are still going is because people are buying the Batman merchandise. You get it? What do you call two witches sharing an apartment? Broommates. Lesbians. And they were broommates. Oh my god, they were broommates. U.S. President Laughing Skull, when pressed for comment, responded predictably. Uh, Mr. President, what are you going to do about the sudden rise in inflation? I will do whatever is necessary to make it right. Okay. Anyone else feel the dread? Clap if you feel the dread. I just taught my dad what the word cishet was, and he just walked down the stairs and said, Cishet, come down. Well, at least he's positive about it. Putting a popular playlist song on your playlist is so humiliating. It's like, no, I promise this song applies to this character in a more deep and meaningful way than those other characters. God! My favorite thing in an art tutorial video is when the amazing artist has a list of detailed steps right up until the last one pretty much boils down to, I don't know, just mess up with the colors until it looks right. And I gotta say, I am here for this. Listen. Listen, everyone knows there's two type of digital artists. One who actually will traditionally paint the artwork with the brush and the layers and everything. And then there's artists like me. He who paint bucket go burr! All debates about the artistic merits of fan fiction fail to recognize the purpose of fan fiction. You don't write fan fiction to be published or to learn how to construct a narrative, although you can use it to develop style. You write it so that your friends will message you, Bestie, you're utterly deranged for this one and I'm eating dirt. You know those people who are like, fanfic can be good to get started, but it's bad because you never learn how to write your own from scratch. Like, imagine walking up to someone planting flowers and being like, that's a start, but ultimately it won't teach you how to like, genetically engineer your ideal fruit tree. Like, you've extrapolated a goal that was never even implied here. Love it when you put butter into a pan that's still warming and then the butter starts. And the butter starts sliding down around like, where are you going, girl? Man. Life's so smooth with you. All right, fine, I do look like a hairless cat, I admit it. Proof? You're so forward, starts twirling my hair. How, how are you doing that? Pro tip, if you start saying, hello, as a joke, it'll eventually come to be your standard greeting for all loved ones. Or in a more generalized form, beware what thou do ironically, lest thou begin to do it ironically. Started out as a bit. How did it end up like this? It was only a bit. It was only a bit. <clears throat> Hasman Hotel is family guy for Tumblr users who used to ship Dipper Pines with a humanized white twink version of Bill Cipher. Sentences to explain to a 14th century monk. Hasman Hotel is the Canterbury Tales for jesters and vagabonds who wrote romantic sonnets as though penned by Lucifer, Prince of Lies, towards St. Augustine of Hippo, but like when he was still a kid. Hey, I want you to know that I finally know what it's like for other people to read my original post. This terrifies me to the very marrow of my bones. Good job. By the way, if you're a Hasbro Hotel fan and you got upset at that, you're legally obligated to like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules. Wow, I can't believe they named a band after Corn. Yo. Which band? The Foo Fighters. I like the Chucky show because it doesn't try to appeal to a mass audience. Oh, you don't know the lore of the direct-to-DVD movies? Pfft, get fucked. I hope you guys are all aware that this means Chucky follows the same plot mechanics as Kingdom Hearts. ADHD culture is writing fast, but having your mind go even faster, so you accidentally a few words. Yeah. I love you, obvious symbolism. I love you, blatant foreshadowing. I love you, gratuitous parallels. I love you, dramatic lighting. I love you, cheesy music. I love you, media that doesn't take itself too seriously. Mwah! Hey, thanks, Tumblr, for telling me I like my own posts. Very vital information there. Oh, hell yeah, my posts are getting attention! You absolute fucking moron. You utter fucking buffoon, no lesser man would entertain the watered-down garbage posts you call your own. You have nothing! Nobody! You call out into the vast abyss of space and rejoice in your own echo! I would kill you where you stand if it didn't mean wasting the energy. Splunkus, why were you liking your own posts? I like having online friends. Hello, university students from Europe. Hello, children show enthusiasts from the United States. Hello, baby gays from Oceana. You guys want to talk about soup? Hell yeah, I do. Just gotta say. Them titties, though, goddamn. Oh, where? Look down, queen. Whoa! How'd these get there? 
It's occurred to me that bingo night or bridge night at the senior center will probably be D&D night when we get there. And now I'm ready to retire. Yes. Do you guys think it's possible for a fungus and an algae to on purpose kiss? Maybe they will take a liking to each other. <laughs> Tasks that take 15 minutes but three hours if you include the agonies. <laughs> this close to walking into mysterious fog and never coming back. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. Bye, guys. Just kidding. I'll probably see you on Wednesday. Hey, guys. I'm back from the fog, and I brought tacos. Who's hungry? Hey, how do your belief systems even work? They're all true, especially the contradictory ones. They're double true. It's Asexual Awareness Week. I need all of you to be extra aware of me this week. Witness me. No vampires can't walk into people's houses without being invited. Well, neither can I. It's road. I colon three my way into this, and I will colon three my way out of it. So help me God! Boo skimps. Reader be weeder. You're in for a skeeter. Do, 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 do. One time I dreamt I was talking to a bunch of people, and when I asked one girl for her name, everyone went really silent. Then she whipped out her phone and explained how she sold it online for bitcoins, like an NFT. Fairies are really keeping up with the times, I see. I'm like the Joker, in the sense that I tell jokes sometimes. Gotcha. Ariana Grande just brought back the black hoodie trend. Little Nas X just brought back digital watches. Okay, well, I just brought back my wife from the dead. Did, did she come back normal? Oh my god, you can't just ask someone if their wife came back normal. I'll take that as a no. Sadly pawing at the Discord app icon. The little gay people. They're all trapped in there. Let them out. Currently writing a comedy for a time-traveling organization, and my first thought was that the government outlawed time travel, but also funded the organization in order to fix the rampant time-traveling crime lords. The time-traveling organization has one member that actually follows regulations. The clothes maker. Ah, priorities. I hope every writer who sees this writes loads the next few months. Like free time opens up, no writer's block, the ability to focus, etc, etc. You're able to write loads and make lots of progress. Thank you, glitchy writer boy. I think people often underestimate the potential educational value of senseless memes. For example, thanks to Spider's George, literally every teenager on Tumblr has a reasonable grasp of what a statistical outlier is and the sorts of problems that outliers can introduce into a naive analysis. There are grown adults who don't get that. I deal with them on a daily basis. Memes have educational value is actually statistical error. Average memes teach zero facts. Spider's George is an outlier and should not be counted. Ah, now we're learning about irony and recursion. Good. Women are pretty. And men are nice too, I guess. <gasps> really? Tumblr, Grinder. Do the gays not like the letter E for some reason? Yeah, it's LGBT, not like bet. Today's genders are Long Furby. I released the frogs in the White House and now I'm wanted in 30 states. Eldritch Horror, the incarnation of chaos, and soup. <sighs> Finally, the incarnation of chaos, my gender. Do you think truckers realize that they're dentists out of highways? <sighs> Explain? No one likes semi-tractor trailers, 16-wheelers, no one likes being near them, and they terrify like 50% of the population. Just the idea of having to be in their vicinity fills people with dread even though what they do is essential in our lives. This is the first time I've seen this post with the explanation included. What the fuck? It's not a ship post! Oh no. I'm thinking... again? <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, I'm back. Me every day, beginning a task. Agony, despair, while every moment on this wretched earth is filled with suffering. Death, death, death! Ten minutes later. Man, I'm so glad I washed the dishes and I was so normal about it. Yes. Death, death, death! A hopeless romantic cowers before the infinitely more powerful, hopeful a romantic. I'm glad every incarnation of Gladian has kept the most important aspect of his character. Hmm. Arthritis. Ah, uh, so he is an artist.
Blorbo for my shows this, Blorbo for my video games that, what about Blorbo from my D&D game that only three other people know? Do you ever think about that? I do. So, uh, my clothing diet through my gloves. Plus three spell casting, plus one summoning EFF, 2x damage versus undead. A tattoo makes it more demonic than undead. So, you're now a necromancer, a beginner's guide. Man arrested for training dog to throw bricks at people ringing his doorbell. Well, there goes that idea. Let him throw bricks! Snow donuts are a phenomena which occur when the wind blows over a snowy layer of ground and other snow materials collected along the way until large rings or rolls are formed. It's lovely to know we live in a world with snow donuts. Snow nuts. You just hate the cis because of the things that they did. I hate the cis because it's led by the treacherous Count Dooku. And also by the fact that his name is Dooku. What kind of name is that? I chance we're in the evil dimension, guys. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. I'm going to nibble off your ligaments. They should let us download ibuprofen for free. Finally. E-ibuprofen. I miss them. Fictional character I think about literally every single day. Mm. Ooh, what a cool post my mutual just reblogged. I think I will reblog it as well. Ooh, who did they reblog it from? That username seems familiar. Oh, it's me. From an hour ago. Delightful. People born in 2010 are becoming teenagers next year. Excuse me! Last night I had a dream that there was a Tumblr update and the only thing it changed was that for two minutes straight you could sprinkle shredded cheese on other blogs and their posts and everyone's dashboards was just pandemonium as everyone cheesed each other. Two minutes of abominable amounts of shredded cheese raining from the dash. Tumblr at its finest. Get cheesed! Andy, have you been sprinkling cheese on this post the entire time I was talking? Autistic people of a particular flavor will master the art of expressing mundane sentiment in amusing ways because their most successful jokes as children were primarily accidental. And when you realize you have that spark of a weirdo and it's just a matter of intentionally and comic linguistic optimization to make yourself a regular sayer of things in funny ways. Maybe you're just high. I mean, it helps also, yeah. Can we go back to that first post though? Why is that me? I don't. I, I don't know how I feel about that. That's incredibly accurate. Project Runway, but it's for fursuits. I would watch the hell out of this show. Like, the, no, seriously, I would actually watch the crap out of that show. Have you seen some suits? Holy shit. I love stories where it's just one guy's really bad day. Same. My favorite thing in social media is spam posting one night, then disappearing for a week, then spam post again. Rinse and repeat. So mysterious. I'm like that mystery writer guy that shows up at a cafe every other week, and I look so cool and mysterious. But in reality, I'm posting pictures of cats on Tumblr. Before we go ahead, I apologize if I actually mispronounce this because I have no idea. Absolutely not a new observation, but I love that the Tokipona word for animal, Sawali, is written like this. Fuck, man, that sure is. I have less than 200 followers, and this guy 80 notes in the span of hours. Bitches love animals. I mean, look at that guy. It's beautiful. Give him a little pat. Said with such intense auto-tune that I can barely be understood. <laughs> Just saw a post. Be careful out there. Hey girl, are you the devil? Because I want to kiss you under the pale moonlight. <laughs> Sir. If you're offline or away and I message you something like a link to a meme or a picture or whatever, honestly, just assume that I'm leaving it there for you when you get back and not expecting you to answer straight away. I don't need you to reply with, hey, sorry, I was away at the computer or anything. I was leaving you a gift for later. This also applies if you're online or just don't want to or have the energy to deal with humans in the moment. Just because we have the ability to reply in real time does not mean we have the obligation. Mario Kart's the closer to first place you are, the less useful power-ups you get system is an ideal model for how our economy should work. Whoa. I read this out loud to a boyfriend and he just went, Oh. That's fucking brilliant. Blue shell the 1%. Andy, throw it. Murkrow will now say a dirty word. Wiener. <gasps> how dirty. Butts even. Ooh.